All right, guys. Today is the day. I'm um, so scared. Those of you who who watched the video maybe a couple of weeks ago, some people have actually asked updates. So mm -hmm. thank you for you know being a little bit worried about me. But I did have a bump on my back. Uh, oh, the spine. That the doctor said that we're gonna remove it. So today's the day that we had the appointment. We had to book it a little bit of time out. So today's the day. So we're on the way there. So hopefully everything goes well. You know, keep us in your, keep me in your prayers. Keep us in your prayers, guys. So we're on the way there. It's not far from here. So luckily we can walk. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Like we don't know too much information, which is, like, I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna be yeah. honest. Any kind of invasive where they cut you has me a little bit like especially worried worried you know yeah, yeah it's, it's just like a, a thought like it's right on my spine right so i'm just like i don't want to put those thoughts in my head but they're in my head so yeah. we're on the way there you know smile fake it to make it <laughs> so, I'll catch you guys later. yeah we're there and we're gonna learn a lot of information when we go there right so not because worry has me even more worried guys i'm so scared so we're gonna keep you guys updated uh we'll kind of film what we can mm -hmm. and uh yeah appointment soon so we gotta get going guys so catch you guys a little bit trying to laugh trying to giggle deep down you know the expression like smile but you're crying on the inside yeah that's me smiling but i'm close to tears and he's like surgery freaks me out like yeah. i just don't like it man it could literally be like a surgery of like trimming my beard or something and yeah. i'm still gonna freak out because like you never know you can always have complications and stuff yeah. like that right so we're gonna but pray. you know what guys so we're gonna yeah <laughs> anything helps right now so. yeah god takes care of his children guys we're here god will take care of his child all right guys so god is good mm -hmm. i'm still here guys so this is it right here i don't know if you can see it like it's a little bit sore but i'm not gonna Turn around. stretch too much but guys basically extremely good news yeah uh basically it was kind of complicated the way he explained it it was he doesn't know how it happened he doesn't know what the cause was but there was some type of build-up it could be grease it could have been like an ingrown hair it could have been like a, fat, actual, deposit. fat deposit stuff like that that basically developed into a cyst he said and basically your body to try and protect it if there's things like infection or whatever or like little particles that could kind of leave the space the area in goal your body kind of encloses it into like a capsule right so it becomes like this little ball of capsule with stuff in it and luckily he kind of looked at it more closely the the, the first time he was kind of saying like yeah yeah we'll just cut it do a mm -hmm. surgery then take it out and then like stitches uh, like the little nerves and stuff just cut up the little nerves and then re-stitch it and then you know you're gonna heal and stuff so that's kind of yeah. what i was expecting that's kind of why i was nervous but then when he looked at it again more closely in the consultation and then he kind of like tapped like took off the the top a little bit mm -hmm. and then he saw that he would probably be able to get it all out without actually doing a full-on incision so instead of doing like the full-on incision he basically cut the top off and then it made like a hole like a volcano i guess mm -hmm. and then he kind of just popped looked, it, like, like, like a, a pimple. pimple basically the stuff inside like you know Ew. i've never it was like it looked like coconut flakes yeah. basically it was super white it was like hard like flake yeah hard flaky and it was going everywhere like when he was kind of massaging it yeah. out he was going so hard guys it was, he was like going snow. so hard yeah yeah like snow yeah it was almost like snow and it was like a volcano it was like, exploding like across the room <laughs> and everything i was like what's going on you know uh but yeah super thankful mm -hmm. yo my nerves was there like my heart was pumping being um, really fast me he was so nice though this guy yeah. you know like the doctors that like, kind of make you feel at ease we talk about life we talk about so he many was things. young too he was young yeah. very experienced too you know and like he had his own practice his own office and we talked like a lot like about yeah, life about really like family about like growing up kids like growing a family and everything like that he just got a newborn um daughter she was so she was cute. so cute yeah she was at the reception too mm -hmm. and it took a while it took um like an hour and a half yeah like we, we, we just got back not too long ago it's dark mm -hmm. outside now guys but yeah super thankful um <sighs> he said it, it can probably come, come back, back. Yeah. and he says to like put some specific cream because it can get infected like the way that he took it out right it can develop an infection so just take care of it he said don't go uh, don't put it in the sun too much yeah he can't he take said, off his uh, shirt in the sun he has uh, to stay like that <laughs> and he, to buy some cream so we can get some uh, some specific spray to yeah. help the infections and stuff keep it clean 
and then he says if it does come back then you can go see him and stuff it is but, a little bumpy still but yeah i'm assuming or hoping that it it was like down. the skin kind of went up right mm -hmm. so i'm hoping that it deflates. over time yeah it deflates yeah so hoping for that because it was it was pretty big right so like mm -hmm. the skin stretch so i'm hoping it, it kind of goes back i'm so happy that he didn't have to get the incisions the stitches, and like the yeah. stitches oh when he was talking i was like and then there he was talking about he's gonna have to put uh anesthesia or a whatever. needle yeah he was gonna freeze it with yeah. the anesthesia and then oh. like a syringe he said like if he goes that route um that there's gonna be like needing to clean it so naka's gonna have to get a syringe of peroxide mm -hmm. and, and flush it out Ooh. But, I was like, yeah. I'm not ready for all of that. So far, so good. We didn't have to do that. Yeah. So, guys, super happy, Ooh, guys. And you, you know what's see funny? Okay, okay. I've been going to the gym. And then you know he asked the whole medical history. So I would probably recommend don't be shy when you tell, talk mm -hmm. about medical history. Like they're doctors, they're there to help. You know, so oh, be very, very so. honest. And you know, th this guy was funny because we were kind of joking around about some stuff and like he was super friendly. Mm -hmm. He made me feel like comfortable, made us feel comfortable. Yeah. And you know guys, probably don't Google your symptoms. I was, yeah. It just stresses you. I always seek professional, you know, hopefully you can get professional advice or help mm -hmm. sooner rather than later. But then we also thank you guys. We want to thank you for the, uh, for like there was some comments that I saw about like things to take for fertility that helps yeah, some people. Yeah, we ordered a couple So things. we did order some things and we kind of heard interesting information that like if you do take some, you know, folic acid for example, your body takes three months before it actually reacts yeah, to it. Yeah, I didn't so know that. We didn't know that. And like we've taken stuff in the past before. For like... But, like a month yeah <laughs> and then we're like oh it doesn't work and it we stop do anything. you know but apparently it's like three months until your body reacts to it yeah. so like if you take the follow acid and all the vitamins and this and that you gotta wait three the months the eggs that will come from taking those supplements vitamins vitamins will be in three months you say vitamins because we <laughs> watch people mean? that are english and they're like vitamins let me know guys if you know the kind of like how that all began like why are some words actually pronounced like vitamins in the u.s and then vitamin vitamins in, in the, the UK. uk like where did that originate from like how did that transpire i'm very curious know. i'm a curious person guys. yeah i guess it's just different dialects mm. of are you excited for the supplements Yes, I'm very excited. Yeah, you know, we order them now because I like, check in every day for the tracking. She's like, tell them, tell them that they're coming. Tell them like sometimes we get stuff shipped to a certain location and then we have to tell them to with the tracking box, number, right? Yeah. And then she's always like, it arrived. Tell them we have to get it. Tell them. Like, it's not <laughs> cute. But yeah, guys, thank Dominic you so got much. Some stuff too. It's not just me. I did actually. I'm actually very excited. Yeah. You know, like a lot of things that men take for fertility and stuff. It actually helps in the gym too, and I love getting a nice pump in the you gym. Got you got know? freaking caffeine free. Pretty yeah, come back on uh, <laughs> caffeine, so that's gonna yeah. be a change, guys. But yeah, let us know if you want us to talk more about that stuff. What we're trying and stuff. We're gonna let you guys but, know how it goes. Yeah, guys. So thank you so much for hanging out with us. We're so happy that it wasn't God like is good. it it wasn't bad. Like they they got rid of that dirty cyst, mates. So I'm super. These cysts they keep following us. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so we're seeing... I hope now it, it, it got out of the body, so I hope it don't come we back. We both had cysts, yeah. mate. Can you imagine? That's crazy. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video. Smash that button, comment, subscribe. Talk to you soon. Toodaloo. Bye.